The Imperial Legions of the Dragon Emperor march to war. While Harmony may emphasize their discipline formations, is it the reason they perform so poorly in Domination Multiplayer? That is the question I will attempt to answer today. Harmony is Cathay's unique racial battle mechanic for Total War Warhammer 3, and just so there are no mix-ups, this video will talk only about Harmony as a battle mechanic, and not the versions that exist on the campaign map. Harmony at its most simple definition is a conditional stat buff for Cathay when both ranged and melee units are in close proximity. So Yin units will get bonuses to improve their performance in melee when a Yang unit is near, and the reverse is also true for Yang units, gaining missile reload and leadership bonuses while near Yin units. These bonuses are supposed to represent the efficient army formations that Cathay is renowned for. These buffs, however, are binary, meaning there is no middle ground, and as soon as the unit is out of formation, it no longer receives the harmony bonus, even if it's the right play tactically to do so. With that in mind, I hope to expose the flaws in the developer's line of thinking regarding Harmony's current all-or-nothing implementation. Harmony encourages the player to play tight formations to maximize the area a single unit can provide its Harmony buff. It can be a powerful game plan, but the strategy begins to fall apart once Cathay is forced to play outside those parameters. This may not seem like a huge deal at first since most Cathay strategies involve using ranged firepower to force their enemies to attack, but as soon as Cathay is forced to split its forces, they are playing by the opponent's rules. This makes Cathay significantly weaker, often moving their formations too far apart that they no longer receive leadership and combat buffs from Harmony. Harmony's biggest flaw as a mechanic is that Creative Assembly as developers have assumed that the player will always be able to activate Harmony's buff army-wide. Because of that assumption, the developers have set the recruitment price of Cathay's units much higher than other factions' comparable units almost as if the increased stats provided by Harmony are their normal stat line. So in essence, as Cathay you pay for buffs that you may not even get to use. That may not seem like a huge deal for those who only play single player, because in single player there is no recruitment budget for an army. Instead, upkeep is a much more important factor to consider when building an army in single player rather than recruitment cost. However, since multiplayer is only single battles, there are no upkeep costs, and all the player has to consider when building an army is what units to recruit to best counter the enemy's probable game plan. While not the case in every matchup, most multiplayer battles favor quantity over quality. This is because having several low tier units attack a single enemy unit tends to be more efficient than a single elite unit would be at the same task. Another factor to consider is that real life players are much more competent at shutting down ranged firepower than the AI. Another factor to consider is that real life players are much more competent at shutting down ranged firepower than the AI is. This could be through flanking attacks, magic, or simply using overwhelming numbers. In campaign however, the player is much more likely to have no problem using a large amount of ranged units. This is because while the AI can micro much more efficiently than a human player, it is unable to execute anything more than simple strategies. When playing against human opponents, when playing against human opponents, however, it is inadvisable to bring too many ranged units since they will be much more difficult to protect. It creates a situation where the player cannot bring a balanced amount of yin and yang units to reliably activate harmony across the whole army. It also doesn't help that currently there are some units which have no counterpart on the yin yang spectrum, such as cavalry. Cathay's cavalry are meant to be used in flanking maneuvers, putting them out of harmony range. The only Yang units capable of balancing cavalry harmony are the Sky Lantern and Sky Junks, but those move too slowly to be viable options in most cases. Now all of these conditions may change in the future with the addition of DLC units, but at the moment Cathay's intended playstyle of turtling doesn't work at all in multiplayer. This is because harmony conditions are too strict and weren't balanced around split groups of troops that the domination game mode favors. So if Cathay's biggest weakness in multiplayer, and more specifically in Domination, comes from the fact that Harmony can't be consistently activated 100% of the time, how do we fix it as a mechanic? When it comes to balancing, Creative Assembly has three options. First is to adjust unit stat lines. This allows them to adjust a unit's performance without affecting the overall army performance too significantly. Second is to change a unit's cost so that it may become less or more viable in its intended role. If too many or too few of an effective unit can be brought, changing its cost can help put the faction in an overall healthier place. The third option is changing or reworking existing abilities. 
This is the more rare solution since a combination of type 1 and type 2 balancing can usually achieve the desired outcome. But since Warhammer 3's launch, we have seen Creative Assembly significantly reduce the cost of Cathay's unit prices for multiplayer and apply some stat buffs, but even then Cathay has still performed poorly in competitive matches. What I think Creative Assembly needs to do is loosen Harmony's conditions so that the buffs it gives can be accurately accounted for in Cathay's multiplayer recruitment costs. My proposal is this. Make it an ability that is 100% active while in range, but it begins to decay when the unit gets out of range of a counterpart Harmony unit for too long. This decay effect could simply happen all at once after a period of time if Harmony isn't re-established, so let's say 30 to 45 seconds, or a gradual decline in stats that occurs every 15 seconds until they revert to their base stat line. This would allow Cavalry to maintain their higher stats for an initial charge outside of Harmony, and then be able to pull back once those initial bonuses start to wear off. It would also benefit Cathay ranged and melee infantry, allowing them to be slightly more flexible if they need to run away from a charge, or to create more breathing space for their ranged firepower. So guys, what do you think about my Harmony fix? Does it solve the problem, or does it unnecessarily complicate Harmony? Let me know what you think down in the comments below! If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button for more Warhammer and Total War content. With that said, I'm Fohammer and have a great day guys.